Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another episode of Ray GTV. That's like HGTV, but it's me, Ray Baby Ray. So if you have not watched episode one of this series, this is basically where I'm giving you guys home decor update. So I'm just taking you along the journey of me trying to finish out and fully furnish my new home that I moved into last year. So definitely check out episode one. I will link it up in the cards and down below for you guys. That'll be kind of the starting point that this video will feed off of. I apologize for my raspy voice. I've been kind of sick, so bear with me. Basically just jumping straight into it. If you saw episode one, you know that I've been working on kind of redoing and trying to finish Zaya's room, my almost four-year-old daughter. And where we left off is that I picked out some really cute wallpaper and I was waiting to get it installed. Now the thing is, I have textured walls all throughout my house. I don't know if that's normal everywhere, but it was pretty much standard where I live. So all the walls have kind of this rough texture to it and you cannot put wallpaper on top of textured walls. They need to be smooth. So I hired someone to come and smooth out that main back wall in Zaya's room. I'm only doing an accent wall of wallpaper. I'm not doing her entire room. I am leaving the rest of the walls the light gray color that we painted them. So I only had to have that one back wall smoothed out. But I just didn't realize how much of a process this was in general to get wallpaper installed, even just on one wall, and the costs associated with it. I paid someone to smooth out the wall. That was actually a two-day, two-step process. Process. And then once that was finally done, I paid a different person to come and actually install the wallpaper. This is not the easier peel and stick, more temporary wallpaper that I know a lot of brands have now where it's very easy to do it yourself. This is like traditional wallpaper that you need the special glue and just you have to do the whole thing. And I know that people do it themselves. I just did not feel comfortable doing it myself. I just wanted it done professionally and done right the first time. I already made some mistakes in this room. So I went ahead and just hired a professional to do it. So it was a two day job to smooth out the walls. It was actually just a one day job to do the wallpaper. And it turned out so cute. Like when I first went up there and saw the finished product or she was like almost done, I was just super happy with it. I just felt like this was the perfect choice. And I knew that it was really going to just give the room that overall vibe that I was originally looking for, but I just totally missed the mark the first time. But as soon as I saw this wallpaper go up, I just knew that this was the right choice. So I had already shown Zaya the sample page of the wallpaper to get her approval before I put it up. So it wasn't a surprise to her. I wanted to make sure that she liked it, but I went ahead and showed Zaya how it looked when it was up on the wall. Did you have a good day at school? Okay, I have a surprise for you upstairs. You wanna go see it? <laughs> what do you think? That's beautiful like a princess. Beautiful like a princess? Do you think this room is good enough for a princess? Mm-hmm. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. The whole room is not done yet, but I just wanted to show you the flowers on the wall. But I you want to be a princess. Does it make you feel like a princess? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think she likes it and I'm really glad about that because although I am trying to make this a really nice, aesthetically pleasing, well-designed room, which is kind of like just me trying to put things together, I also wanna make sure that Zaya likes it. It's Zaya's room, it's for her, so I'm kind of checking with her every step of the way to make sure that she likes it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Do you give it thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah. Which one? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. So what do you think about all the walls now? You like all the walls? Mm -hmm, but that wall is not colored, or that wall is not colored. So these walls are gray, and this wall has pink flowers, and then everything else in your room has pink all over it. So you want to put pink on the ceiling? Yes. You want to put pink on the ceiling. Okay, geez, these requests just keep getting more creative. So after the wallpaper was done, the next thing that I wanted to go ahead and do is actually hang up these little cloud shelves that we got from Target a while back. They had literally just been sitting in her room for a few months now. So I wanted to go ahead and actually get those up on the wall.
not as easy as it looks. Let me see. It was literally cutting my finger trying to hold that on there. Put it on the sharp part. Put it on the, just hold it at the very edge. I'm just trying to keep it straight. Do what now? <laughs> Do what now? Hey, you? Try. That's ah, exactly ah. what I was doing. See? You You're taking longer than I was. Uh huh. <laughs> And these are just super cute because I am still trying to tie in the clouds, stars, and moons kind of motif. Even though we have this floral accent wall, I didn't want to make the whole room just floral and just about flowers. I wanted to still add in some of these other elements that I know Zaya likes. So these cloud shelves will kind of complete what I'm calling the reading nook area of the room. This is where I have her new canopy hung up that I showed you guys last time. There's lots of fluffy pillows and a nice white fluffy rug underneath the canopy. So that kind of completed that area. And then I was thinking that I still needed like a few more accessories to finish out the room. And then I realized that I had an entire moving box of room accessories that were in her previous room, in our previous home, that I had never unpacked since I moved into this home. I literally forgot that I had a whole entire box in the guest room closet. This is stuff that I have been collecting and using since before she was ever born. A lot of the stuff was in her original nursery at the other other place that I used to live. Now I don't think that much of this stuff will be usable or needed in her current room, but I definitely wanna go ahead and look through it just in case and then kind of decide what I'm gonna do with it. These are actually light up marquee letters that I used at her last birthday party. I don't know if they really fit anywhere in her room right now. She already has that wooden name sign. Everything doesn't need to say Zaya all over the place. I'll definitely keep these, probably use them for her next birthday party too. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot about this. These are the things that I made before she was born, little DIY projects, these little jars. Who remembers this video where I showed you guys how I made these and how I set up her nursery before she was born? Oh my gosh. I don't even know what else is wrapped up in this paper. Nice white flower pot. Even if I don't use it in her room, I can definitely use this somewhere around the house. See, this is the problem with having things like in random closets throughout the house. You literally forget what you have. This garland was ordered for my baby shower and then I used it in her nursery and then I used it in her next bedroom and now it is destroyed. So this is now trash. My dream catchers, which were also from that same DIY video stuff that I made to go in her nursery. These actually probably can be untangled and still be like okay, but I just don't like have a use for them anymore. I'll probably put them in her keepsake box though because this is memories of when I was making stuff before she was born. This is a flower vine, don't need that. Just random fake flowers on stems. I'm trying to see what else is wrapped up in this paper though. Oh. Oh my God, I forgot how many like sets of things I have that spell her name. So here's another set of letters. These I glitterified myself. I mean, I'll probably keep these, like I said, maybe use them for a birthday party or something. I don't think I'm gonna put them in her room though. I'll find some use for them though. Oh. The bunny piggy bank. I forgot about this. This is still cute. I could probably put this in her room right now. Ooh, if I don't break it first. This mirror that has been in so many houses, so many apartments, traveled with me everywhere. I ended up spray painting it gold. It used to be brown. This might have a place somewhere, somewhere in my house in general. This is like a treasure, treasure chest, a time capsule. Another pink and gold porcelain, oh yeah, it's a piggy bank, unicorn. I don't even remember buying this to be honest but I can probably put this in her room right now, along with the bunny. Oh my bro! This was the other DIY animal jar thing, like the giraffe, but it broke off. Oh. Yeah, I definitely need to put this in her room. One of my friends from college hand painted this. This is Zaya's birthstone. Oh, and this is a really cute frame too. 
Ooh, I forgot about this frame and I just painted this quote to put in there. But this is a really cute frame that still matches her room right now. Okay, so I did find some good stuff that I can still use. Definitely some stuff I need to get rid of though. And look at all this paper now. So yeah, I ended up finding some good things in there that I could definitely still use and I placed those in her room and everything else in there, either it's gonna be going into a little keepsake box or I'm just going to be donating it. The next task in Zaya's room was to mount her name sign on top of the wallpaper. I just decided that this custom name sign that I got from Etsy just deserved to be more so like a focal point of the room. I had originally hung it above her dresser on the opposite wall. So when you walked into the room, you literally could not see it unless you turned all the way around. It was almost a waste of like such a cute piece. So I really wanted to put it up above her bed as like a focal point. But with the patterned wallpaper, I knew that there needed to be some contrast between the sign and the wallpaper. And I was glad that I went ahead and painted like the edges of this wooden thing black because that helped to give some contrast, but I felt like it needed even more contrast. And I just felt like it would be really cool if it like actually popped off the wall a little bit. So I came up with this random plan of how to make the sign pop off the wall. I literally can't even explain it in an easy way. Basically I used these little wooden spools and mapped it out. It was like this whole thing that I'd made up and it ended up working. So here is is my cardboard template that I just made. I feel like my little wooden pieces adhered on to the back of this really well. It feels really sturdy. So I've got six of those little pegs on the back of this. The cardboard template, it's hard to see on camera, but I have pencil marks and made holes where each of those pegs will go and kind of traced out and measured out the sign so that when I hold this up on the wall, I'll know where to put my holes and kind of where I want it to be on the wall. Mark that using this template, put the nails in the wall, and then hang it up. Hopefully it works. I was very surprised because I literally was just making this up on the spot, but my little method of mounting this on the wall ended up working really well. And I think it gives just enough shadow and contrast between the pattern and the actual sign to where it's still visible and it still pops, but it all like coordinates. So then a few days later, I decided to go shopping for some extra accessories. I had most of the stuff for Zaya's room, but there were still a few more things that I wanted to get. Okay, so it is like nine o'clock in the morning. I dropped Zaya off at school this morning and then I just got the urge, the calling to come to like home decor stores and shop around a little bit. I'm not in a rush to, you know, find everything and get all the pieces that I need to like finish out Zaya's room or anything like that. But I do have a few pieces in mind that I know I wanna get. So I wanted to come to at home and possibly a few other stores and just see what they have. Cause it's been a while. There was a point in time when I was coming to these stores like once a week at least, if not like multiple times a week. And it's been like a good, month, couple months since I've really like looked at these stores. I've been doing a lot of online shopping. So let's go to at home and see what they have. So I'm looking for a basket, like a cute decorative basket to hold the rest of Zaya's dress up stuff. Cause I'm only hanging up like the really cute stuff that matches her room. So for the rest of the dresses, I wanted to put them in a basket where they're still like with the rest of the stuff, but just not messing up the decor or whatever. So I'm looking for a basket that is going to hide the stuff. So not one that's see-through, more like this, where you're not gonna see what's in it. I don't want like a laundry hamper looking one though. I had a specific style in mind and I'm not seeing it. It's kind of like that style up there, but more of a gray and white color scheme, kind of like that. These gold ones are cute, but they would defeat the purpose because you would see everything inside of it and it would look really cluttered. So I'm not quite seeing exactly what I need here. I have, however, found a few pieces for my cabinet in the living room. I am kind of copying off of Restoration Hardware, which is where I got the cabinet from. And the way that they tend to style these kinds of cabinets on their website is like a monochromatic array of vases and objects. So I'm looking for kind of like all white or off-white objects to fill up that cabinet. So I think things like this 
kind of fit. These two are on clearance, so I get like two for the price of one with those. I'm gonna need a lot more stuff than this though, and it's adding up already. This cabinet was completely empty, but I knew I had a plan, I had a vision for exactly what I wanted to fill this cabinet up with. It's not gonna be used for like actual storage, for actual usable things, it's just for decor. So I ended up finding um, a few pieces to kind of start that off. Just a few pieces though, I definitely probably need at least 10 more items or more to actually fill up the cabinet and make it look complete, but that'll probably take me a while to collect all the different pieces. I'm probably gonna get some pieces from like home goods and maybe even check like thrift stores and stuff. So it's not done yet, but I already like really like the way that it's coming together. Speaking of the living room area, I also wanted to test out the way that my DIY artwork would actually look in here above the console table. So I told you guys about the console table in the last episode, and if you guys saw my DIY artwork video that I posted recently, that was kind of an epic fail. I'm not gonna lie. If you have not seen that video, go watch that video. Basically, I tried to make some art from a house it didn't really turn out good, but I still wanted to bring it inside and see how it would look in the space because I wanted to check if it was the right size and check if it was like the right general idea, like general color scheme, or if I even liked this style of art in the space. Mm, I, I just, I'm real iffy about it. I'm just not happy with it. I just don't think it's even the right style of art, honestly. I feel like it's a little too busy, a little, too modern in a sense. And I actually am thinking that I might try and paint over it with a completely different style of abstract art. So I'm thinking about maybe trying to replicate something like that, but I do think that this canvas is the perfect size. So I don't know, wish me luck. There's still a lot of work to do in here, but probably in the next episode, you guys will see, you know, more stuff. I got some new pieces for my bedroom, which I'm really excited about. I've kind of mainly been focusing on Zaya's room a lot lately, but I've also been kind of working on my bedroom at the same time. And I've just been kind of waiting for things to be delivered and installed. So I just got my chair delivered. I showed you guys the side table before, but now I have the chair that kind of goes with the side table to create a little seating area in my room. All of these pieces are from Restoration hardware. These are like my dream furniture pieces. Super excited about it. Big investments, but I think they were good purchases and I'm very happy with them. I just feel like it just, uh, just, just, yes. Everything I've always wanted for my room. And not only that, but I also got my mirrors from Restoration Hardware. They're really big, tall, hefty, heavy, really nice mirrors. And I hired someone to come over and mount them on the wall because they are so heavy and they need to be like professionally mounted. I don't want these things just being nailed up there and then end up crashing down in the middle of the night. So I hired someone to come and mount them and they look so good. I'm so happy with it. So the plan is to fill in the empty space above my bed with a really large piece of artwork. Again, the whole artwork thing. I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna end up creating something myself that I actually like, or if I'm gonna end up buying something. I don't know, but I definitely need a really nice big piece of artwork to fill in that spot. And I am also planning on putting some really cute lamps on either side table and of course just adding extra accessories. I also wanna put really big leafy plants on either side of where those side, where that like empty space is on the side tables. I really like the look of having like an all neutral color palette, like all the grays that I have going on in there, but then having a pop of like green by adding plants. So I definitely plan on adding plants in the room. Oh, and one more thing that is pretty much finally finished in my room are the drapes. I struggled with these freaking curtains, you guys. You guys don't understand the drama that went into the curtains of all things. I literally thought that was gonna be the easiest, quickest part of doing my bedroom. I just wanted plain white curtains. How hard is that? But I could not find the right color or size or type of gold curtain rod that I wanted. 
and all the like pieces that went with it. I could not find the right type of curtains that came in the right length and looked like, I, I don't know why it was so hard to find the things I needed. I guess it's because these windows are really tall. It's not a standard size that things normally come in. And I wasn't really prepared to do like fully custom drapery and stuff. Long story short, I finally ended up finding all the pieces and getting it properly like installed and I'm super happy with it now. I absolutely love this wall of windows in my room. It's like one of my favorite features of the house in general. So I just really didn't want to take away from it. I just wanted to add a little bit of something obviously because I need curtains for privacy and I wanted to bring in the white and the gold that I have like repeating all through the room. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. Now that I have my side table, my chair, the curtains, the mirrors, I already had my bed and the nightstands and the dresser the room is really starting to come together I pretty much have like all my main pieces I am still missing my light fixture because I definitely want to switch out this boring ceiling fan that I don't even use the fan I want to switch it out with like a very glam statement chandelier type light fixture I'm not exactly sure what I have like a few in mind I'll show you pictures but I'm not like I haven't chosen yet but it's really starting to come together and I'm really excited because it actually looks like my vision like it's such a good feeling to actually have your vision come to life that's my room but back to Zaya's room so we got the wallpaper installed hung up the shelves got the canopy got a lot of things done I am still missing some things so this is not the final final reveal it's about 95% done I would say and I think Zaya's room is gonna end up being the first room literally in the whole house that actually is fully done because I've been putting probably the most work into it. I'm really happy with the wallpaper, really happy with how everything is looking. The only things that I am really missing in there are just like in my room, the light fixture. I wanna switch out that ceiling fan for something a lot cuter, a lot more girly. Um, I have like a few light fixtures in mind as well. So I just need to order that and get that installed. The wall with the bed and the wallpaper is completely done. It's got the curtains hung back up over on top of the wallpaper. It's got the name sign. The bedding is pretty much cute as is. I can always add different like throw blankets and throw pillows and always switch that out. But I'm happy with how the bedding and the bed frame looks against the wallpaper and the nightstands and everything like that. Pretty much that whole side of the room is done. And then the only other thing is on the wall with the dress up area. I do still feel like the area above it does look a little empty, like it's missing something, but I just cannot for the life of me think of what to put there. I've asked you guys for ideas, I think already two times on like what I should put above the dress up area. And you guys have given me a lot of ideas, but just nothing, nothing really clicked. Nothing really seemed like the perfect thing. So I may just end up leaving it empty until I find something. I mean, I don't have to fill up every square inch of the room, but it's just kind of like certain areas pop out as like, it looks like it's missing something. So yeah, definitely still needs a few more accessories, a few more little finishing touches in there, but it's almost done. Yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. Those are all the updates that I have so far. Again, I'm not 100% done with Zaya's room, but you guys can probably kind of 
see how it's all coming together now. And I'm really excited to actually finish out my bedroom and probably show you guys that next, as well as adding more stuff to the living room. And once those two spaces are done, then I'm gonna be moving on to my office and the laundry room. So stay tuned for that.